guys, it's Kim Dao here. Welcome back to my vlog channel. As promised from the last video, I am going to first show you guys a PR opening of some stuff that I have received. When I was in Sydney, I went to my agency, Max Connectors, and they gave me a bunch of PR packages that I have received. Now, because I'm from Perth, it's like a five hour trip to Sydney. So I ended up taking out everything in the boxes and keeping only the items just because I was only in Sydney for one day and I didn't want to check in any luggages just because once I land in Perth I would have to wait for my luggage so I packed everything away inside this bag now I'm just going to open up this PR box and then tomorrow I'm gonna to continue this vlog I'm gonna do some last-minute shopping because I need to buy presents for those in Japan and Korea because I'm going to Korea and Japan in like three days which I'm not prepared for at all so yeah lots to do in this vlog so hopefully you guys enjoy it first off though let's open up some packages so first we are going to open up this one from YSL I actually already opened this up yesterday because I was so excited I couldn't help myself the first item is the YSL Fusion Ink Cushion Foundation and guys the packaging is so beautiful look at it now I got this one in shade 30 so let me just open it up to try because I have not tried this out yet hopefully this shade is good for me now the thing is a lot of my cushions I have they are very light because I usually get them from Korea so I really wanted some darker cushions because I don't really I mean I like the lighter skin tone but if it doesn't match my face I don't like it too much but sometimes I just have to work with what I've got oh it picked up a lot of product all right, let's just pat this on my face. Oh wow, I love this. Oh my gosh, guys. This matches my skin perfectly. Look at that. It feels so light and moisturizing at the same time. Mm-hmm. I love it. Oh, I'm in love. Love it. I am definitely going to be using this a lot. Next, we have the YSL Radiant Touch. Look at this packaging. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to try this out. I've seen so many beauty YouTubers use this throughout the years and I've always wanted to try it out myself. So I finally had my hands on one of them. It's so smooth and blends so easily. It really brightens the areas it touches. Love that. Okay, oh my gosh, I am so excited to play with new makeup, guys. Like, most of my makeup items I have are all Korean and Japanese products, so I'm really excited to try out all these new Western products. Next, I got a heated eyelash curler from Miranet. Oh my gosh, how fancy is this? It has its own little case. They gave me some batteries to go with it, so let me just put this in. It's heating up now, and I believe it takes like 60 seconds to heat up. Now the thing with my lashes is that I have really short Asian lashes But yeah, it's really easy to use I feel like it's quite gentle as well You can definitely feel it warming up But it's not to the point where it's too hot for you to handle They also gave me their mascara Use good volume. Next, I got items from Overtone. Now, Overtone sent me the Rose Gold Deep Treatment for Brown Hair. So as you can see, I have dyed my hair and it was originally black, but because I bleached my hair so many times last year, every time I dye it black, it just always turns back to brown. But it's still like a dark brown right now and it's really damaged. So I'm really excited to try out these treatments. I also got the Rose Gold Daily Conditioner. So this is a deep treatment and a daily conditioner. And then they also got me the overtone because not all of us can hire a personal lighting designer. Ah, oh, this is for your iPhone. Or your phone, I mean. Oh, a ring light for your phone. This is so cool because I don't have one of these yet. I was thinking about getting one. I wonder if it'll make a difference to my photos because I've got a really old phone. I'm still using the iPhone 6. So, oh, that's bright. Oh, wow. I can use this when I film. Oh, I love this. I can take this out and then take photos when I go out. Last few items are from Clinique. Now these are from Sammy Robinson when she did her campaign. So they sent me all the products that she had in her campaign, which is the liquid facial soap mild. Then I also have the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Apparently this one is very similar to the Hamish or the Clean Zero product. So very excited to try that one. And then I got the Clinique 
Pep Start 2-in-1 Exfoliating Cleanser. So lots of new base products that I can play with. That is all of the stuff that I have in my, I guess, recent PR haul. I am going to end this part of the vlog here because tomorrow I am going to a new friend's house and we are going to be filming a video together. So that will be on my main channel, but I'll film some behind the scenes and stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm here with Janelle. Hey! So she's actually new to this channel. Um, I'm going to link her channel down below. She just started YouTube. We just filmed a really exciting collab together. So as you can see, I'm dressed in some black pink clothes and so is she. Yeah. And she did my makeup for me. So guess what person I am? And guess who I am? I don't think we look anything like the people. <laughs> <laughs> we got side chips. Yeah. Oh, we've got two sides. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Two small mm. sides chips and Johnny burgers. Do you eat a lot? Ooh, I can eat a lot. I can eat a lot too. It's I, so bad, but whatever. It's my last mind. day in Australia. <laughs> I might as well. <laughs> Should we order an extra two hash browns to put in the burger? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've never done that before. Are you serious? No, I've never done that. It tastes Should so we? good. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're okay, definitely. We'll try. Um, yes. I've never tried that. Oh my what God. is wrong with you? You're not a true McDonald's. Are you serious? <laughs> You're not a true McDonald's person. Okay, oh so God. we've got okay. one cheeseburger. Yep. No, oh wait, I want two. Oh yep. Yeah. So we just received our McDonald's, guys. Wow, it smells delicious. I am so freaking excited to eat. So we have finally finished our filming. It's like what well, dinner time now, so I'm gonna eat. And then after this, I'm gonna see if I have time to go to the supermarket because I have to buy some stuff for Sunny and for Sophie in Japan. So yeah, if I don't have time, it's okay. I've got tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna go and um, yeah, do some shopping for souvenirs and then go home. I'm gonna finish editing a video and then I also need to um, pack my bag because I haven't started. Hey guys, it's the next night now. Oh my gosh, it is so stressful because I have not started packing. It is like 6.30 p.m. and well, my flight's not until 1 a.m. so I still have time. But I need to actually go grocery shopping so I can buy some presents still for Sunny, um, my friend Sarah and Sophie. Oh, so I will um, go and do that afterwards and it's okay because it's night shopping today anyway Alright, so it is summer right now in Korea and Japan Which means I don't really have to pack too many clothing, which is oh so good. So First off, I'm going to bring some clothing that I really want to take photos in so let's get that Here I have a bunch of clothing from yes style and these are all summer clothes that I really want to take some photos in because they're just so adorable. So yeah, let's just pack these in together also on yester i bought these are uh, travel bags which you can put into your suitcase to kind of like manage everything because when i pack for trips i am so messy i just literally chuck everything into the bag and you know things go missing which is not great so let me see um let's use one bag for underwear i'm gonna pack underwear first because that's one thing i do not want to forget Underwear is packed. Now for clothes, like I said, I have a bunch of clothing that I really want to pack from yesterday. Now I do need some more clothing items because, all right, last time when I went to Japan, I didn't buy a single piece of clothing item and I feel like it's just because I'm getting over Japanese fashion. I know in Korea, I might be shopping a little bit for clothing, but overall, yeah, I'm kind of done with shopping in Japan. If I do shop in Japan, it's going to be stuff I need to buy for videos. But in terms of fashion and makeup, I don't think I'm going to buy anything. So I'm going to pack more clothes with me. In the past, when I traveled to Japan, if you guys watched my videos back in the day, I used to go with an empty suitcase because I used to buy everything in Japan or Korea. Nowadays, um, I tend to pack a bit more because, like I said, just not that interested anymore you know your tastes change so i will still film like you know shopping videos when i'm in korea and japan because i actually still enjoy window shopping i just don't buy stuff myself anymore so because of that um let's just pack some pairs of shorts because it's going to be really hot it's so weird because it's winter right now in australia so i'm wearing this thick jumper because it's cold i also have to pack this massive pineapple light that I found in Australia and this is for Mime, the present to her. In this bag, I'm just packing a few basic like camisole tops to go underneath my blouses and I'm also going to pack my pyjamas. So these are my Harry Potter pyjamas I got in the UK. So yeah, packing that. 
inside this bag i'm going to put some converters uh chargers stuff like that so we are going to be taking this charger now this one here oh, it's so messy but this one here this is a japanese um power point and i usually use a japanese one with an australian adapter just because most of my electronics I bought them from Japan anyway, so they all have the Japanese plug, so it just makes more sense to use the power board. Always bring that with me when I travel. I'm also going to be bringing with me a spare iPhone charger because for some reason it was going missing, so bring that. When I travel, I stick to like this skincare routine usually. I just had to clean out this container because this oil cleanser leaked, so yeah, that was my fault anyway. But let's just close that. All right, I think I have packed everything and I'm in a massive rush right now, guys. It is a bit of a mess right now, but yeah, I just, I'll repack when I get to my parents' place. But yeah, just chucked everything in there. Got some shoes, some socks, all my clothing. So everything is in. Let's close it and let's go shopping before the shop right, closes. I am in the shopping center and I only have like 15 minutes to buy everything, but I'm gonna buy a bunch of dry shampoo for Sophie. So I might just buy like two of these for her because I know this brand, the rest of them I don't know. It's night nice shopping today, all of the shops are closing up now so I have to go to the supermarket and I'm going to buy some stuff for Sunny. So my friend Hoji Saro, who's not a YouTuber, uh, lives in Korea now, asked me to get her some Shapes Pizza. So I might just get her, um, get her two. She also wants Lucas Pawpaw Paw ointment in the jar, so I'm gonna grab this one for her. This one's really good. All of my friends always want me to get these for them when I come from Australia. Dog food. Now, Sunny wanted me to get kangaroo snacks or treats for ganja, so let me find them. I decided to get ganja, the bigger ones instead, and a bunch of other treats. There's like so many in there. Now I'm gonna get some chocolate for Sunny as well. She didn't ask me to get her chocolates, but I know she likes chocolate from Australia. So let's see. Mm. Oh, here. I have made it to my parents' place, and now I'm gonna see Mickey, my dog, and I have to pack my bag and eat breakfast. Breakfast? Dinner. What am I on about? Oh, <gasps> Yuki! Hey, girl! Hey! Hey, girl! Hey, girl! Hey! You gonna go get a smile? You gonna go up there and smile? Give me a smile! Give me a smile! Yeah! Smile! Smile for me, girl! Yeah, good girl! Good girl! Here's a good girl! Here's a good girl! You a good girl? Yeah! You are such a happy girl! Come here! Lie down! Are you a good girl? You gonna smile? Smile! <laughs> Yuki smells the treats. They're not for you, Yuki. They're for ganja. Dinner. Home cooked meal. Haven't had a home cooked meal in ages. Alright guys, I am sitting down in Perth airport just waiting for my flight. Now I was going through my bag and I realised I forgot to pack my laptop charger. So, well, I packed it. It's just in my check-in luggage and I was supposed to put it in my hand carry so I can edit videos on the flight because stupidly I did not charge my laptop before I left. <laughs> Looks like there's no editing for me on this flight. I really wanted to get some videos up on my vlog channel because I haven't uploaded properly in like two weeks. So I'm going to do my best to I guess edit when I'm in Korea instead and because I can't edit on the flight I'm gonna try and film some more footage on the flight so I'm gonna maybe film a skincare routine video and then I might film uh, maybe a makeup video so we'll see how things go I have to fly to Singapore first as always and I'm taking Singapore Airlines again and then I'm in Singapore for two hours so I might go get a lounge I am a little bit worried that the flight might be a bit late today because it's raining so hard outside and whenever it rains um, flights are always delayed so 
yeah, if it's the latest, I won't have time to chill in Singapore. But if I do have time, yeah, I'll just go to a lounge and I'll just chill inside there. Around 7 a.m. tomorrow, I'm flying to Seoul, and I believe the flight's like six hours or so. Sunny's gonna pick me up at the airport, and then straight away we're gonna go out, so that's gonna be really fun. Really excited to see Sunny again, and of course, Gumja. Anyway, there's not that much to update on except I just bought a bottle of water that cost me like four dollars. Welcome to Australia, four dollar bottles of water. I'm gonna buy some water before my flight. It's like four dollars for a bottle of water. Oh my gosh. The good thing about this flight is that I did bring my Nintendo Switch, which means that because I can't edit, I can play lots of games without feeling bad.